Hey there guys, how are you doing? Up next is Bill from Naked Custom Instruments. So we're gonna, you know, have a more intimate knowledge of what makes him tick and how he works. Hey man, how are you doing? Finally meet you today. Yeah. And so, let's start at the beginning. Where did your love for woodworking, and where did you basically essentially start in I think it's just a lot of guys too. Uh, I started as a bassist mm -hmm. playing for a few years. Um, and then it was in the winter of 07, 08, I was home from school. And uh, literally, I know it sounds cliche, but I couldn't sleep because I kept on thinking, like, I need to build a bass. It's kind of like a mm -hmm. thing. It just came out of nowhere. And uh, I was fortunate enough that two of my uncles have their own uh, wood shop. And oh, so right. I, I asked them if I could you try my hand at building a bass in their shop. And they're like, yeah, go ahead. So then I spent the next three years or so. Uh, working on the first two, and of course by that point you get stuck on it, or hooked on it. Yeah. And so they start building another one and another one, and by 2013 I was like, you know what, alright, I'm going to try this and actually see if I can make this into something greater than just a hobby. Yeah, so tell us a little bit of how you bring your own take on the designs for your instrument, like what makes a naked custom a naked custom. Uh, well, all my designs are, um, except for my acoustic, are you know, my own designs. Mm -hmm. um, I, my first one, which is a hitchhiker design, not this one, was a little influenced by Warwick because that's what I played at the time. Um, but I come from the perspective of I, I love wood, and so I really want to showcase the beauty of the wood. And so my designs, I feel, are very uh, organic in nature um, and then very ergonomic. Yeah. for the player themselves. Um, and so when I when I approach a piece of wood, you know, coming from a raw blank to a finished product, I really want to just showcase the grain, the color, everything, because I feel there are enough colors and great matters out there that, um, you know, the wood will be shining just enough. Naturally beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So that's really like, if you, if you were to look at my designs, I have painted one, uh, uh, hollow body guitar mm -hmm. that I built, but mostly it's just I like to showcase it with, and uh, even the even the finish itself, it's just an oil finish. Yeah. Um, it's got the gloss, the shine, but it still has that natural feel, that organic feel to it. Very nice. Can you tell us a little bit specifically about this instrument you decided to showcase it? Yeah, this one is the concept bass. Um, I really wanted to come up with a kind of a single cut design. And this is what ended up popping in my head. Um, it's a it's a very well balanced instrument. You get um, I feel like it'd be a good session bass for um, someone recording. Um, I mean, you can play it standing up, and it sits just fine. No neck dive, no body dive, just just right there. Um, but then definitely sitting down. This you know this cut right here just really plays well. Um, and so as far as the features on it, got black walnut wings for it, a two-piece uh, maple neck through, um, and what I feature on all my instruments actually are matching control cavity covers, and those are actually held on by magnets. I feel it's just the most simplistic, easiest, quickest way to access everything for the battery compartment. Copper shielding and all of it. Uh, we've got an East Indian rosewood fretboard. Uh, we've got Seymour Duncan Blackout pickups, active, active pickups, uh, shallower bridge, uh, bone nut. I really like the bone nuts. I know a lot, like, a lot of people like to mess around with other things, but I think the bone nut is a very classic um, piece to use. I agree. I, I like, uh, I'm a big fan of Goto tuners. Mm -hmm. um, I really like the high gear ratio, so you can really dial the tuning in. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, uh, natural or a high gloss, um, true oil finish. For it, and that's kind of the gist of it. Oh, I've got mother of pearl dot inlays on the fretboard and on the sides, so you know where you are. Nice, awesome, man. It's a beautiful instrument. Thank you. Thank you for taking your time. Just uh, let the people at home know where they can contact you in case any of you are interested in placing an order. It's important for them. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Naked Bass Guitars. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Naked Bass Guitar, Naked Bass and Guitar Company. Uh, the website is nakedbassandguitars.com, and uh, my name is Bill Wolger, W-O-G-E-R. You can find me on Facebook, send me a friend request, follow me. Uh, yeah, it's many different ways to contact me.